Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad and I'm here with our 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. And we are headed to the dyno, but it's different. If you notice, this car is filthy and the reason for it is it's been on the top of a transport making its way from Boston, Massachusetts to Denver, Colorado, where I've recently relocated. So we are at a mile above sea level and I still have 93 octane in our car and I want to bring it to the dyno see what it produces at altitude on 93 octane and that's important because here in Denver Colorado the highest octane I'm able to get that's available is 91 octane so we're gonna bring it to the dyno we're gonna see what it produces on 93 octane once I'm once I've run through that gas, I'll fill it up with 91 octane, bring it back to the dyno, and we'll see if there's a comparison. It'll be interesting to see between 91 and 93 at altitude uh, if we notice any differences. So if you're interested in finding out how much horsepower, an otherwise stock car, I brought this back to stock, so it's fully stock. If you want to know how much horsepower the stock ND2 Mazda Miata makes at altitude on 93 octane, then stay tuned.
Um, I'm always impressed dynoing this car. So the ND2 Mazda Miata, at least my ND2 Mazda Miata, seems to consistently make more horsepower every single time you run the car. So it likes to heat, it likes to get warmed up. And when I say more horsepower, it's not a lot. It's, you know, one extra wheel horsepower during every pull, but it's very different than our other car, the 2019 Honda Accord. That being a turbo, seems like the first run is always the best run and then it gets heat soaked and then the horsepower and torque start dropping. But anyway, this car loves to dyno. Um, what I liked, seeing and the reason why i picked this dyno shop is they have a dyno jet which is the same type of dyno that we ran all of our dyno runs in massachusetts so it's the same type of dyno i wanted to see calibration wise was it pretty um what was it calibrated pretty pretty close to what we experienced in massachusetts and the good news is it absolutely is it is almost spot on uh, when you do the standard correction to sea level. And I have the graph here that shows all of the pulls at the correction factor. But then I also have all of our dyno pulls without the correction. You can see the impact, the altitude, the thinner air makes on the horsepower. So interesting to show, show between the uncorrected versus the corrected. But now we know how much horsepower this car will make on 93 octane. In a bit, once I've used up the 93 octane, I will put in 91, I'll bring it back to the dyno, and we'll find out really how much horsepower difference there is between the two octane ratings. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. But I guess that's it for today. Thank you for joining, and until next time.